stimulation to sensation. In our previous session, we have learned that what our senses do. In the present session, let us learn the path of receiving a stimulus to express a response or sensation. The conditions or substances trigger the process of sensation is called as stimulants. The information carried by the stimulants is received by certain organs called as receptors which are present in the sense organs. The information carried by the stimulants is converted into nerve signals. These nerve signals are carried to the brain and are processed to situation. For example, when reflected light stimulus from the surface of a green leaf reaches receptors in our eyes and are converted into nerve signals. These signals reach the brain and are interpreted as green colored shape against a background which we see as leaf. Brain is the center for all sensitive activities and has two types of nerves such as sensory nerves and motor nerves. Sensory nerves receive information in the form of nerve signals from sense organs. Motor nerves interpret the signals and send the information in the form of response. For example, when we see a mosquito biting us, the sensory nerve sends information to the brain and where the information interprets and responds through the motor nerves in the form of action as hands to strike and kill it.